Yes, sir. Go rise to the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item on tonight's agenda is the uh, public hearing on the Oak Hill Drive, Deer Hill Road, uh, Street Improvement District. And Mr. Hines, you want to give us a little presentation here, please? Sure. Um, Oak Hill Drive, Deer Hill Road, located off of... You want the uh, easement? I could throw this up, so we'll figure out any questions. Located off of Bull Road, um, it's a it was a 22 lot subdivision uh, that was serviced by a private roadway. Um, there's an interest by the homeowners along that roadway to improve it to the town road specifications and uh, dedicate the roadway to the town so that the town would take over the maintenance. Uh, we've done a preliminary review of it. Uh, in order to come up with a cost estimate, uh, the project would consist of about 850 linear feet of complete roadway reconstruction in portions of the roadway where it has failed, uh, 2,000 feet of widening the roadway from 18 foot wide in its current state to 20 foot wide, the minimum town rural road spec. Initially, there was a desire to increase to 30 feet, which is your standard road spec, but uh, that would uh, be too costly to do that. Increase the cul-de-sac radius by 20 feet in order to provide an adequate turnaround for emergency vehicles, 500 linear feet of guardrail, and some drainage improvements, including three catch basins and the replacement of the existing undersized drainage pipes within the roadway right-of-way. Uh, the construction cost, cost for the project would be $260,000 with additional costs for engineering, legal, surveying. Uh, there would need to be taking maps for each of the parcels along there. Uh, which brings the project to just under $310,000 estimated cost. Uh, we broke that down with the help of uh, the controller's office uh, based on a 10-year payment with the 21 homes in the benefit district. One of the homes in the original subdivision is not served by the private road and comes off existing bull roads, so it was not included in the project. Uh, so with 10 years payment at 4.5% interest rate, it would cost uh, roughly $1,850 per unit or per residential lot. At 20 years uh, financing, the interest rate goes up to 6% with a 20-year payment term, and that's about $1,290 per unit. Uh, and it's based on a benefit district of each residential lot paying uh, an equal share of the costs associated with the improvements. That's what I have for you. Explain a couple things. Uh, this is the first of two required public hearings. Uh, the, you know, should we determine that we want to proceed, uh, the, this will be followed by a subsequent uh, public hearing. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure whether it will be next month or the following month. I would like to see. You know, if we are going to proceed, I would like to do this as quickly as possible and and proceed next month. But I want to hear from the uh, the audience, uh, from the public that's involved. Uh, and get their input. So, with, with that, 
Anybody from the area that wants to speak on this? Miles, how did I know that you were going to be the first one who wanted to speak on this? Whatever. You can speak from back there, you can speak up here, whatever you want. Uh, well, I'm not back there. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> uh, when we went over it, uh, we came over the cost estimate of $229,000. Yes, right. It's all posted on the uh, telephone poles and stuff that we have. We're hoping to actually bring that down a little bit by shortening the guardrail a little bit because we don't really need 500 feet. I think we need more like 300 feet in the critical area. Uh, we're widening it to 20 feet from 18 feet. And, you know, we've already got a good road base now. We need some drainage. And we we're hoping the cost will actually go down, not up. I mean, it's like kind of a surprise to us. You know, but, uh, As it was to us. Excuse me. I'm expecting a call from the doctor. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll call her back. Um, I'm trying to figure out what happened uh, as far as cost estimates. That? Yeah, uh, uh, in reviewing the file, I went over this with Dick McGilley from my office. Uh, the initial cost estimates were did not include any of the engineering, legal, surveying, administrative. They were strictly the construction cost estimates. And we rechecked those. They were done in 2008, early 2008. Uh, so we ran the current municipal pricing. My office tracks that as we receive bids in, in uh, various municipalities. And we plugged in those new cost estimates that we're receiving currently. And that's why the, the construction cost went up to from the 229, 229,000 to the 260,000 based on escalated prices of the, the asphalt and the, the other materials. Uh, but the original cost estimate I find in the file did not have any of the engineering, legal, administrative, okay. survey. So in other words, how much is the actual asphalt? Miles, I apologize. Okay. It was very important. It's not for me, but it was for somebody else. Uh, it's okay. Let me just get my chance of going here. No. Um, hey, the we're administrative cost. plus, I mean, I'm trying to figure out why it just got so expensive. Uh, well, there's a whole, the, it, it involved the process. Um, there's a need to provide uh, surveys for each of the involved parcels uh, because they'll have to be dedicated. Those pieces of property will have to be dedicated. There, along with that, there's some legal work that has to be done with those. Each of the parcels that have a mortgage will need a mortgage release from their banks that will allow the transfer of ownership because right now the people along the two private roads own to the center line. So there'll be a need to transfer that property from the center line of the roadway to the edge of what was the right of way, which would now become the town's fee ownership of that parcel. Um, there's some public bidding and engineering requirements because of the fact that it will become a town project under the creation of the district. Uh, so there's the requirement for public bidding plans and specifications that everyone can bid apples to apples to. So there will be needs to uh, be design plans prepared for that. Uh, there's bonding council and bonding costs that need to be wrapped up into those costs. Uh, so there's quite a bit of administrative and engineering legal fees associated with this. Um, by doing it as a town project, it needs to be paid on a prevailing wage, which tends to increase the, the cost of the project. Uh, could be as much as one third, uh, depending on the current prevailing wage rates, but it has to be paid for at those wage rates because it is town bonded money that is utilized for that. So that increases the cost over what a private group or a private organization could do. Right, so in other words, if we did it privately and we brought it up to the town specs and we did it and somehow we got financing for it, Right. Uh, they would deal directly with us and they wouldn't have to pay for that. Right. Anyway. Really the only benefit is to take advantage of the, the creation of the district is to take advantage of the town's financing ability for the project. Right. Uh, it well, certainly that's the main thing because financing, I'm sure if I went to Arginio who builds roads, they probably don't have financing. Okay, and that's what we're right. concerned about. You know, right, and, and that's the real reason, reason you would that's, create that, the district. That, that isn't the only that's reason why, you would, <coughs> why we would build it is, is to be able to bond it and Put it on as a tax item on your tax bill. You get advantage. Uh, the advantage, obviously, uh, and the cheapest way, and we've discussed, you and I have discussed this for 20 years. Right. Uh, you know, the, uh, the cheapest way is obviously for you to bring the road up to town specs. You know, you to pay, you know, you being all the residents, bring the road up to town specs. Once it's brought up to town specs, it's dedicated over to the town. Of course, you would still have to do all the survey work, all the, uh, you know, all, all, you know, dividing of all the parcels so that, you know, the town would own it in fee. 
Right. The, the other, mean, that, that, nothing would change there. The, the other advantage of having the town do it as a district is that if there was, say, one party that didn't want to do that, then the town could utilize them in the domain proceedings to get ownership of the property. But doing it privately, if, if one party along here said, I'm not giving up the parcel, uh, that would become an issue also because the town would need fee ownership of the entire road right. bed. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this, if we can split this. If I can go to Arginio and say, okay, here are the specs, how much is it going to cost for the road? The thing is, they probably want some money up front, and that's what we need to do is get the bond in it. It's a whole thing that I right. really don't Yeah, I mean, that, that, that would become, uh, one second, Marine. Okay. Uh, that, that would become, you know, the function of, of the residents should you decide to do it uh, privately. I mean, you know, the, the financing, wh whatever you had to do, and whoever you had to go to, a, a bank, whether everybody would have to uh, go in on a mortgage, uh, you know, for that, uh, you know, some, some type of a loan against real property, against your properties, uh, to do that improvement. It would, you'll save about a third of the cost. Okay, so, so we gotta get the financing up front. <coughs> Yeah, it would you would have to get the financing up front. Okay, see, that's what concerns me because be not everyone can either get the ten thousand dollars up, or in this case now maybe twelve or thirteen thousand for mm -hmm. each one. And uh, well, yeah. it, it would be it would be less simply because you would you would not be dealing with the realm wage. Okay. Yeah. In you other know, words, it'd probably come to down to about ten thousand per household. I would I would say that you'd probably be right in the ballpark, mm -hmm. but maybe even a little less. Okay. Maybe a little less. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. The three, I'm sorry, I came in a few minutes late, but the number I understand is that it's now at 310. Right, plus or minus. And, and that's based on a preliminary estimate. So the next step in this process would be to go through and do a detailed design. Understood. But when I was speaking with some other, with, with Mike and George previously, I thought 310 did not include all the council and all the bond fees, and that that could be another 10 or 15. So I just want to know from you. What's the final number? Is it 310 plus or is it 310 inclusive? No, it's 310 inclusive. 310 is, there's no, not going to be any other Based cost. on the preliminary cost estimates that, that my office has done, I, I didn't do them, Dick McGoey that did includes, them. That includes but, the cost of the bond, the cost of the county, yeah. the cost yes. of the surveys, and the cost of the fees. Correct. Correct. Yep. That, that doesn't exclude the financing costs. It does. Costs. It does not. No, that does not include the financing costs. And what is that? Bond council. Well, we're talking about 5000 Wouldn't that strictly be an estimate? Uh, at least five thousand dollars for bond so council. Three fifteen okay. is what you're saying. No, 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 no I'm not going to give an estimate. Uh, it would be at least five thousand dollars for bond council, and somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five thousand for the uh, sale of bonds. Okay, so so again, we're looking at three ten plus those two items, which could be a max of perhaps a ten. Because you're saying five for one, three to five for the other. Yes. So you're talking closer to three twenty. And, 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 it, be and it could go back a little the other way once we do a detailed design. You know, we, we went with the 850 lineal feet. That. And what was the number you said per family over 20 years? at 12, 1200? 12, 1290. 12, 12, yeah, about 1290. It's 1286. So about, about 100 bucks a month. Right. Is that how it would be paid? So that would be, be under tax bill. Be <coughs> yeah. the, uh, well, those that financing cost is based on an estimated interest rate provided by. The Financial advisor. The rate will be what it will be when it goes to market. Uh, we what would happen with this is we go onto your tax bill, and the homeowners are paid just as they do with your other taxes sometime in June. That's a special district. Then, depending upon uh, when the bond was issued, there'll be typically uh, one to two payments per year, two payments per year, six months apart. Then we would pay. This would be a levelized debt. Uh, those are estimates. Uh, it'll be higher certain years, uh, lower other years. It's not like a mortgage payment where you pay $1,000 each month. Uh, the actual cost will be uh, very uh, within a range for the 10 or 20 years. But the interest rate, whatever we end up getting, if that will be fixed for the 20 years? Uh, yeah, um, sometimes the interest rate will change in the later years, but did you know that at the time of the issuance? You don't know, you'll know it at the inception of the bonds. <coughs> you, you'll have that figure up, up front. All right, so we should try and did it out privately to save the money uh, on the asphalt and the job. Um, we, we've always said that. You know, Miles, you, you know, we've talked about that for years. I know. <coughs> it's, just, it's just got to go ahead after 27 years and trying to correct the problem that we've had it, for it, a long it, time. 
right. You'd need 100%. Uh, you know, it, it does few people no good, but you know, understand, that's why you can only build four houses on a private road anymore. Right. So that, that's simple because of situations like this. Right. I mean, and you're, you're not unique. I mean, we have another road the, that is longer and worse than your road. Uh, your road is in relatively good shape. We have another road in town that is really bad. And you know, people would love to go to a public road, but so they, they, can't do so they, they, they simply can't do it. And there's less houses on it, bigger lots. And I caution that every you'd need 100% participation because you privately wouldn't have the ability to obtain title. To somebody right, else's property. If somebody decides not to pay, then we're shit out of luck. Or to dedicate that portion. All right. that, that, that would be one way of putting it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you need mortgage releases from each of your mortgage companies because if you have a mortgage, you're giving right. away a piece you of it. You know, I have a feeling we're going to be gone with this town because the eminent domain thing that we don't have. We right. don't have that power. You guys do, and we want to get it done. You know, I'm you know, well, we getting too old for this. Well, you know, <laughs> we, are, we are going to have to go to a second public hearing. <coughs> and, you know, we have, uh, it looks like we have four or five families represented here tonight. You know, when we go to the second public hearing and you say you have to go with the town, we still have to make, make a decision based on our best judgment whether it's affordable for everybody. And, you know, you have to, you have to bear that in mind. You know, we, we have to hear what, what, what is said and that it's affordable for everybody. All right, so if we go one more time, uh, like, like next month or so, we'll give it a month and then have another hearing or something? Well, let's let's see where we are at the end, at, at the end of this hearing and see if there's any... I think Jerry and Jean have some questions. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll go with the floor. Sit down. Sit down. Can I have your name? I'm sorry. Yes, Jerry Fioriti. I'm sorry? Jerry Fioriti. Okay, Jerry. Uh, a question about the affordability. Yeah. Why is that a decision from the town if we have a um, petition with everybody on the road, you know, sign a petition saying, yeah, we want to do this? Well, first of all, it's not strictly our, our decision. You thought of it. Uh, yeah. This will have to go to the water control, yeah. and ultimately the, the state control will make that decision, uh, that, that it's an affordable district. Uh, you know, we, we have, you know, we have a responsibility to say, you know, to, to make a decision whether it is affordable, whether we, you know, it's our judgment. Uh, you know, is it affordable for everybody? We haven't heard somebody uh, come in here yet and say, hey, listen, if you do this, I'm going to lose my house or I'm, I'm out, of, out of a job. Uh, you know, I, I can't afford this. We, have, we haven't heard that. I don't anticipate that we will. <coughs> uh, but listen, an additional, in, in, in this economy, an additional $1,200. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It, it sounds like it, but it's not really an additional twelve hundred dollars because we, as families, put out quite a bit of money for snow plowing sure. and maintenance. Yeah. The majority of the families. That's the balance, yeah. 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 Every, every one of them eventually yeah. does put out the money for it. Yeah. So that's that's already you know already figured in our budget, so a great portion of it. Yeah. Um, but that is an important point that auto and control review of this is a requirement. They have to see that whether or not it's appropriate to tax someone this much based on your whole taxes that you pay. Well, I hope they take that under consideration when they're doing that review. Oh, they, they would. Now that would go that would go off of the, you know, okay. the cover letter, in the package. Another question: While we're in, while the bond is active and we're paying on that, and um, let's say we're already down the road here, and, and um, it's been accepted as a town property, uh, is, are there anything? Is there anything different about this road during that period while the bond is still being paid off? As opposed to a public road out here, mm -hmm. any special you know considerations? Anything different, or is it it's a fully town, town road? road. road. Mm -hmm. Once we accept dedication of the road, it's, once we accept dedication of the road, it's town road like any other town road. I guess Jerry's question. I mean, to speak for you, is you'll accept it upon completion of the job and not upon payment off of the bond. <coughs> Right. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. the job. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no we're not going to wait 20 years to accept the road. No, no, we'll be doing no, that no. over again then. We'll be back here again. <laughs> Listen, Unky and I, have, okay, Miles and I have waited 20 years. To, uh, we've been talk, we have literally been talking about this since 1989, probably. Huh? I, uh, 88, because that's when I built my house. When? 88. 88. All right. You're at the office. We have been. We've been talking about this. So, okay. now, there, there is one other aspect uh, that you have to consider. 
that it might go down based on the fact that if there's a house, if there's a lot up there that somebody wants to subdivide, and that will have to be a consideration. Once, once it becomes a public road and a lot is in excess of uh, the minimum lot requirement, now some of these lots may become subdividable. So if you got 21 now and somebody subdivides and you got 22, well now you got 22 people to, to, to share in the cost. You know, it's split up 22 ways, or 23, or 24, or 25, depending on you know, how many how many people actually want to subdivide their, their property. So that would reduce and, the cost. Pardon? That would reduce the cost. Well, that would reduce the cost, of course. And if you look at that map closely, there's notes on there that um, I think four or five of the lots are subdividable after 20 years, which um, the 20-year period passed in, in 2000. Yeah, that, that, that was a deed restriction. It's got nothing to do with town law. Oh, I know. But the town mm -hmm. law changed in, 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 you know, in, in the interim. I yeah. Think it was yeah, they, we would, our planning board would not allow it. I mean, our, our law is very strict about four lots on the on a private road. Even even after 20 years, no matter what your deed restrictions, uh, it would have to go to the planning board. It would have to go to the CBA. Uh, my anticipation is that would not happen. Once it's a public road, you know, listen, if, if you know, if, if I lived on it uh, and I had excess acreage, would I consider subdividing? Probably. May I yeah. ask a question? Sure. Can Jim Kennedy. Yes. My lot is the one that goes out on Bull Road, but it does border mm -hmm. the property. What is, can you tell me what's going to happen to my side of the property? I don't mind dedicating it for the road. I don't mm -hmm. care about that. I have it lined with trees. Yeah. Are you going to cut my trees? Uh, it's uh, really I don't know. Anthony, do, do you remember? I know at all. Uh, I don't know how far. I don't know. I don't know. How far is the trees? If I had a hard wall, they're, they're set back far enough that I don't think we're going in and cut them off. They're back behind your fence. They're behind my fence. They're behind my fence. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'd say seven feet. I, I would say not. I, I would say probably not. They're behind the, there's a culvert that comes down there. Are they behind the culvert? My col I have, I put a swale in yeah. on my side. There's no culvert on my side. Yeah. I, would, I would say probably not. No. Probably. I mean, they, they may end up being within the town right away. But will we cut them down? It, it, it would, you know, it, it would be doubtful. Uh, okay. You know, I would have to come and take a look. You know, okay. I would have to have the engineer measure it. That's, that's My anticipation is the answer would be no. Pardon? If, if, if it turns out that that would be part of the plan, just out of respect for Jean, would you let us know before so that she can? Of course, Miles, you know the area, and you, you know you do know a little something about construction. What what what's your opinion? Yeah, I think my opinion is the trees are set back far enough. Yeah. You know, they are, so they're yeah. Mr. Hines, do you have an as-built on the road over there? I don't. This is the original subdivision map I have here. The as-built, the road doesn't go exactly along that. Uh, that right, it's center line of the right of way, yeah. It's offset yep. to one side, and it's, it's, it's offset to your side. So you're, more of your property is already included, so your trees may not even be in the easement. Well, I wasn't sure if they would take down my trees or my fence. We would, yeah. do, every, we would do everything in our power to not to take down your trees. Yeah. I don't even, we haven't decided which side the widening would be. Uh, that would be some, well, one of the de I, design I details when we look at that. Any widening in that area. Right, and that may well be, I just haven't, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, that's about 25 feet wide at that portion, mm -hmm. so yeah. that, that's what as, as I recall, it's, it is pretty wide going up. And there's nothing to the left going up. You're on the right side going up. I'm on the right side going right. up. On the left, they do have the culvert. There's, a, there, there's a culvert. I th yes. And I don't think there was any intention of disturbing that culvert either. So. Do they plan on putting a culvert on the right side? Uh, yeah, I, think I think there is. I think, yeah, I, 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 I think there's a culvert going down. There's, there's, three, catch, there's yeah. three catch basins and the replacement of the existing culverts in the yeah. estimate. Yeah. Okay, so they would be putting something down that side. So yeah. that I'm not, I, I, the design hasn't been done, just okay. as the cost estimate that I but know. I'll know about it beforehand. Sure. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> Oh, come on now. No one else. That, that's it? Well, it's been pretty exciting to see this. <laughs> for, for, for you and I, it's been exciting, Miles. Did you ever think we'd get here? No. No, I never thought we'd see the day. It was uh, George Myers. Forget it. No, I mean, I you know, one actually told me to forget it. I do you have one other question. Yes, sir. When is your turn? Uh, how, how long I'm going to change. Next, next January. Next January. Yeah. Is this coming January? Uh, no, he 
you're you're from you're from the Stone Age. But remember, I'm getting old. <laughs> old is the key word. Dead, so we have an extra two years to do this. <laughs> and I would have to dedicate my side because I had, that is on my property. Yes, you would. Yeah. Okay. You would. Right. Yeah. And, and you know, here. Not, not to be, but to be very truthful, if you were the only holdout, we would take it by having a domain. Anyway, well, so, I, but, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, no. We will not get that. Planted every single one of them. Oh, yeah. you know, listen, I planted a lot of trees, and I have a special affinity yeah. for the ones that I planted, and I sure we can understand that. Yeah. Um, but no, we will do everything in our power not to. Okay. And if, if I recall, you know, I've been on that a couple of times <laughs> over the past uh, 42 years. So, okay. or you know, and I know know where your house is, and you know. Yeah. So. so I think you're sick. This is pretty wide now. Right? It, so it is. It sick. is. But I was worried for the fence because there is yeah. one spot. But the roads are already wide enough. Five foot. So. And I don't like the fence. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I think we're so. let, me, let, me, let me just briefly. Uh, we don't have we don't have a resolution prepared to call the next public hearing. Uh, and what do we need? Fifteen. What, what is yeah, it? Uh, more more than 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 George, because I I took a second look at that, and it's. Uh, if the estimate of the cost of the improvement is prepared by the engineer exceeds the maximum amount, which is what it did, mm -hmm. um, the town board should adopt an order calling a further public hearing uh, and time not less than 15 or more than 25 days after such determination. So you haven't officially made any determination. So next town board meeting would be fine, or the, even the meeting after that if you need uh, more time. All right. So here, here's what's we're not going to make a decision on the next public hearing tonight because I don't have a resolution prepared for the next public hearing. <clears throat> I'll discuss it with the engineer and, and Anthony and uh, Mike and, you know, I'll talk to the town board about it. Uh, and I will, I will do that quickly so that if we if we can, we will have the, the public hearing at the next meeting. <coughs> uh, and what I'll have to do is I'll have to call the board together for a special, a special board meeting to call a public hearing, which, you know, is, it's just for functionary, you know, it takes two minutes to do. You know, they'll just come in and we'll call a public hearing. But we have publication notices that, that are that are required. So, but I will be in touch. Miles, you can call me, Lorraine, or anybody, or any one of you can call me. Can we do anything at this point? Like, we have not, you know, I've notified the people that, uh, I'll consider the people that care. We've got 21 families, probably three quarters of them, we don't speak about this, they don't really care. So I've notified the Are they aware? They're aware. Of the cost? Not of the increase. Okay. Because I only found it out maybe four or five days ago. I called, you know, these fellows, maybe one or two more people that I thought would be here. But I have not notified every single homeowner right. of this. Um, my best advice to you would be to do that and, and, and talk. You, you, don't you have uh, homeowners meetings? Yeah, we have them as little as we can. <laughs> I'll, I'll put a notice out to all the homeowners, but I don't want to be taking like another vote. You know, oh, no. I don't think you have to take another vote. Just right? notify them yeah, that, the cost, so. yeah. that the cost has increased to approximately 320, which will result oh, in just the, the est estimate, the, the, the estimated cost. Remember this, you know, and talking to the engineer, you know, a couple of the figures that are in there are high. Uh, Thick figures that we can bring the engineering cost down. Uh, so, you know, and we'll do what we can to bring the cost down. Unfortunately, we're constrained by the, you know, the prevailing wage law, and it most certainly increases the cost of all public projects. It does. So. Why don't we tell them 260? I wouldn't have scared the pants off everybody, and I don't want this thing to sink. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we yeah. can't do that. And, and we you, don't. You we can don't. tell them whatever you want. Uh -huh. well, unfortunately, I have to tell them the truth. And you want to do one bond? Unfortunately, tell them the monthly figure or the yearly figure. It doesn't sound as bad. Right. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks a month for homeowner. Let's just leave it like that, okay? Twenty. Yeah, it's a twenty-year bond. Or twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. So, you know. So. And, and George, if they're going to go back and talk to people, I think it's worth emphasizing that's required on benefit basis, and that the idea yes. that if someone's going to subdivide. A lot, as right now, we're looking at it as the benefit basis, more or less total amount divided by the 21. Mm -hmm. But if someone has in mind that they are going to subdivide, then you've got that one person that ends up with four lots, mm -hmm. and they're only paying, you know, it what would have to be, the, 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 it would have to be structured properly. What do we need to subdivide? Two half acres? Two, two, two acres. Two acres. Two. Yeah. 
It's a, it's a two acre. Probably, it's a two acre zone. Yeah. Uh, pardon? Well, it's just something you ought to consider. That's what I'm when we when we write the, the resolution adopting the district and and the the bond resolution itself, it will be structured so that it will say, uh, you know, initially 20, 20 lots. You know, the language will say twenty one lots and any future lots. It will be clearly defined that should you subdivide your lot, it is going to be a separate benefit. It, it is now going to become a separate lot that is going to be taxable on that benefit basis. So now it would be 122nd, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this way it's fair because the people subdivide are going to make more money, they should pay more to them. Well, yeah, and well, the idea is if you subdivide it, you're selling it. Right. And you're building a house, so you know you're not going to subdivide the lot, build the house on it, and that person not pay their their fair share. Right. Yeah. Of course, it won't kick in until they subdivide, and you know could be ten years, could be five years, could be three years. You know, uh, you know, it could be after twenty years. You know that that they subdivide, but you know, that, and that's what the basis would, would be. Okay. All right. All right? Yeah, I just want to be very clear on that. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. All right. Yeah. Uh, no, no one else. No one else has anything to say on this. Okay. And I will accept the motion to close the public hearing. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom. Yes. Councilman Biasadi. Yes. Councilman Wyatt. Yes. Councilman Larkey. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was easier when I was chasing you around on motorcycles than us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was lying oh, back a couple of years. I never thought I never thought we'd get this. Really? You're still doing it. Yeah. You're still doing it. Yeah. My pleasure. Well, hopefully it'll all work out. All right. We'll talk about it next Patrick, thank you. All right, sir. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good, night. Good night. Thank you. Patrick, thank you so much. Okay. We shall move right along. <coughs> okay. Charlotte Tan Motion, Town Board of Town, Windsor Improvement and Support Area. Regarding the establishment of extension three of Board of District Number Five, Knox Village Associates, and special use for the Grove at New Windsor Saybrook uh, Community Capital in the minutes of the Town Board meeting, all held on June second, two thousand ten, in the minutes of the special Town Board meeting held on June eighth, uh, two thousand ten, as per copy posted in the Town Clerk's Board of Board Town Hall, the same distributed to the Town Board members. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom. Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi. Yes. Councilwoman Lyon. Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Yes. Chairman, motion Town Board of Town Owners are hereby authorized supervisor and direct the town clerk to advertise for bids for the project commonly known as sewer pump station number 12 improvement project uh, dates to be, determined, to be determined by the supervisor. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Lyon? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Yes, Chair on Town Motion Town Board of Town Windsor hereby authorized solicitor steakhouse to dispense alcoholic beverages at Mount Airy Park during the Windsor Community Day to be held on August 28, 2010, with a rain date of 2000, uh, August 29, 2010, in accordance with the Town of Windsor Code Section 88-4A. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Wyatt? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Owners are receiving file deed from Ma Ma Marjorie Sawyer to the Town of uh, New Windsor, dated April 14, 2010, recorded in the Orange County Clerk's Office on the 19th day of April 2010, as file 2010003 for dedication of the road in the Valley Fields Estate Subdivision known as Pinel Drive. Town Board of Town Windsor authorized supervisor pursuant to town law section 2916 to exercise as de designee of the town of the board all enforcement powers enumerated in town code section 13, uh, I'm sorry, 113.1 uh, as necessary to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of the general public. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasadi? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasadi? Yes. Councilman
Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Lyon? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Do you entertain a motion to town board of town owners or authorize supervisor to execute general release in favor of Cahill Money and Companies LLC regarding the liability for construction damages to the Hudson Valley Act? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Lyon? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. I don't see it, Mike. I look for it. It's not here. For what? I was reading it. Cahill? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's in the mail. Oh, uh, okay. Chairman Tenmo, the Town Board of Town Woods are hereby amends the motion adopted at the regular meeting of the Town Board on June uh, 2nd, 2010, establishing the standard work day for elected appointed officials. Uh, the tax amends, amended schedule hereby establishes the standard work day for elected and appointed officials for the Town Board hereby certifies receipts of records of work activities or that the town maintains a record of actual time work, the day's work should be reported in New York State and local employees' retirement system based on the record of activities maintained and submitted by these officials to support of this body or based on the records maintained by the town uh, by the town as actual time work. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Lyon? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Do you think they got it right this time? I'd like them to at least date their letters, too. Oh, yeah. Challenge 10 motion to the Town Board of Town Moons are authorized to supervise and execute a collective bargaining agreement with the CSEA Local 1000. Uh, something they have called CIO. As per terms of the memorandum of understanding regarding the CSEA agreement for the term January 1st, 2010 through December 31st, 2010. Move. Second. <coughs> Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Wyatt? Yes. Councilwoman Marthy? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. There are no objections. Town Board of Town Moons are received from the Town Court. Bids received in the uh, public will open on July 6, 2010 for drainage improvements in the vicinity of Spruce Street and Pine Street and Town Moons. Mm -hmm. Chug 10 Moons of Town Board of Town Moons are awarded the bid for Spruce Street and Pine Street drainage improvements to the CETA. Construction uh, company as the lowest responsible bidder in accordance with general municipal law, section 103. Move. Second. Oh, Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Lyon? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. All reports received, recorded, and filed with the town clerk. Justice Re Thorpe's report for June 2010. Justice Calvin's report for June 2010, Town Clerk's Report for June 2010, Recreation Department for June 2010, Police Department for June 2010, Building Department for May 2010, Building Department for June 2010, Tax Receivers, the Water, Sewer, and Garbage Report for May 2010, Tax Receivers, uh, Water, Sewer, and Garbage, June 2010, Tax Receivers, Revised Monthly Tax Statement for April 2010, Tax receivers 2010 final property tax statement for the month uh, final property tax statement and fire prevention department for June 2010. That would be that. Board. Anything? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Public <coughs> forum. Still, speak right up. Yeah, I have number three motion to discuss alcoholic beverages. Yep. Okay. Is the town going to be aware of the liability in case of an accident? Yep. Because last year, if I'm not mistaken, I wasn't there that long, but it wasn't like no alcoholic beverages for the beer, or wine, or whiskey. Yes, sir. Okay. No, well, yeah, so no, it sure, no. sure it was. Yep. And he carries insurance for it. He's required to carry the insurance for it. Okay, on the on the premises on the ground. Right. Yep. Yes. Yep. Oh sure. Last year. Yep. Yep. Separate the area. They can't, can't the area leave the tent, tent area. Yeah, it's right in that specific tent area. They don't walk around with it. They can't you can't walk. That's across the situation. Okay. Yeah. Around the so called tent area. Yep. Okay. I can't move out. Nope. Not, not with yeah. the alcohol beverages. Pardon? 
Somebody going to be watching? Well, he has, he has security guards there. He has his security. He has security guards there, and he's extreme. That's why he did not. Just like it was last year. Yeah, no problem. I wasn't there that long. Surprise, I don't know if we're not. Yeah, no, no, he's got, he's got no three. It's required. They have to. They have to have identification going in. They get. Uh, they get wristbands going in. I think. Uh, we had no problem. No, so nobody. Nobody left that. Yeah, they had security there, and no one left that tent there. You yeah. provided very nice chairs yeah. and stuff. No one left it. No. No. No one left it, and no you cannot. If you wanted a drink, you cannot go and get your wife a drink. She's got to go get it. one person, one drink. You can't leave it out. And you can't yeah. leave the tent. It worked out fine. We had no problem last year whatsoever. And Lee, he carries insurance for it, so. Leo, and I'm aware of one situation where a husband and wife walked in with their two children, mm -hmm. and the family was asked to leave because no children are allowed in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, I saw him. Okay, I think he was out covered as well. No, 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 very strict, very strict. So it's only within that designated area. All right. So I'm not going to just take my drink wine, you know, say the word drink wine, take it home. No. no. We won't let you. Strict procedures, and we, we were very, very strict with it. I'll take it away from you. O'Neill was checking glasses. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else? Yes. Good evening, Bert, Bert, Bert Maroli, 187. <coughs> I'll keep it simple. Last year I came before the board and asked them about the property behind my house with the Bud's Patriot Rig. Mm -hmm. And I asked about the weeds. Mm -hmm. And I believe you got back to me and said that it was their property and they were supposed to maintain it and you were going to look at having that done. About a week ago I got a letter from the Homeowners Association of Windsor Crest and they stated that they brought it to the town and that Dr. Supervisor Green stated that the property was to be maintained by the town and that the town didn't have the resources or the funds to maintain that property. Is this correct or not correct? Actually what I said was is that that is such that it would be labor intensive and that we are not going to maintain it. It was planted, it was planted with wildflowers. Uh, it was planted so that it would not have to be uh, maintained. And no, we're not going to maintain it. Okay, because I, I have a suggestion and recommendation. Sure, <laughs> go ahead. Um, well, first off, the, if you were over there, you'll see that the property behind my home, Yeah. I cut the weeds. Yeah, I, and I know that. I, I was over there, I saw that. Okay. Now, there's several things that can be done. One, the weeds will be cut and fabric paper be put down and mulch be put in and no weeds will ever grow again mm -hmm. of any kind. And then I would suggest that maybe the town would allow the residents, I would want to do it, to do some planting back there, put up some rock on, put some something back in and make it attractive. Mm -hmm. right, now, also, I'd like to suggest that Patriot well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're trying to do another phase up in the back. Yep. Maybe they can be contacted and say, look, as a, as a, as a gesture, you know, the people at Windsor Press have to look at these weeds. Maybe you can help with the uh, transformation. Now, I know personally, I get out and help, but where I am in a condo, they won't allow me to get a gas, a gas weed, weed whacker, because you can't store gas. So I'm using an electric one, mm -hmm. and you don't go very far with electric or about <coughs> But if someone, the town would make a day, I'd take the time, and I'd go back there and help cut the weeds, get rid of them. And the mulch, <coughs> if Patriot could help us with that, we get to leave the mulch in there, and that place looks good. Well, it's a simple you know, process, but it just takes some cooperation. I've, from been, I've, I've, I've been back there. Uh, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. You know, it's a, it's a very small area where, where the weed, weeds are growing. Uh, however, it is it, it, it's it's a drainage swale uh, essentially. You know, and it's, it's a hill. It's 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 a hill. It's impossible. If we could run a mower there, I would say, yeah, we'll run the mower when we do the other side. It's impossible to run a mower. Uh, it was it's very poor planning around not only yours but around every single detention pond in this town. Uh, I'm, I'm very upset with it. it. They have become labor intensive. They have truly become labor intensive. It's been very poor planned over, over the years. Uh, you know, we have some on the west end of the town um, that will require a lot of work. Well, 
you see, I, I pay taxes to the town. Mm -hmm. I pay a decent amount of taxes. Mm -hmm. Plus, there are 110 units in the, in the development. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of tax money. And when the town, when the association board tells me, oh, yes, yeah, the town, but the town doesn't have the funds, you know, it doesn't sit right. There, yeah. There's something wrong here. I, you know, I just don't get it. I assume you took title to the property once they put the fence in. They said, well, that 10 feet belongs to the town now, and you guys have to Un unfortun it. Unfortunately, Bert, yeah. when, that, when, that subdivision, when that subdivision was first planned out, yeah. and the, uh, the detention basin and the area surrounding the detention basin was uh, well, that's really not delineated. Well, retention basin on my side of the fence. Pardon? There's no retention basin on my side of the fence. No, 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 no. It's, I'm, talking, I'm talking about the Patriot Ridge side. Okay. You know, the, the parcel that went along with that yeah. was far in excess of what was needed for a detention basin. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are now in a position where we have to go over and actually mow on, on the grass side of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I will revisit it. However, finances being what they are and money being what they are, I'm sorry, Bert, we just do not have the resources at this well, point. Maybe, would you would you entertain going to Patriot and asking them if they would like uh, to come I, I forward and, and do the right thing? Uh, to be to be truthful, Patriot right now is is doing so much else. Uh, no, I will not. I will not do that. They they are doing they are doing so much else in in mitigating other circumstances. Uh, no, I, I I will not do that. It, it, the, the plan was laid out uh, years and years ago. It was accepted by the planning board. It was uh, accepted as a dedication to the town. It was de you know, designated for dedication to the town. Uh, we have had, I have had discussions with the, the planning board, the planning board chairman, our infrastructure committee. Uh, be assured, this situation will never happen again while I'm supervisor. I just want to make one more statement. Sure. I noticed the property next door to the new Popeyes, which is uh, owned by Lease Incorporated, their, their associates. They're doing a wonderful job, and I want to commend them for getting rid of the weeds there. Mm -hmm. That's the way citizens should be. That's the way property owners should be. I'll pass it on to them. And you can do that. Yeah. Anyone else? Morning. Uh, as I mentioned at the uh, workshop, I would bring you up there. I think it was a very nice gesture in dedicating the uh, concert series to uh, uh, Nancy Fuller and I want to thank you for working with people that are responsible for, for that dedication. Uh, that, that was a very nice gesture. Uh, you know, having said that, I'd like to also comment slightly on, on number three. I'm a little bit surprised that, that the town really is going to take that risk relative to alcoholic beverages in, in a, a community park like that. It is a family community. Uh, even if they have insurance, I know if there was a serious accident that somebody in my family was involved in, you could bet that any lawsuits would go beyond his insurance company. You know? So uh, I'm sure that you just probably took that into consideration and you know, you turned your advice on that. But uh, that, that's, I think that's a real risk there. It was, it was well controlled, controlled last year, and it's only one vendor that's going to be allowed to have it. Yeah, I have and faith in Neil that he would. Uh, yeah, he did most certainly. You know, he would right try thing. to control that certainly as much as he, yeah. he could. But, uh, yeah. I can certainly see uh, that as being a potential liability. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, there are other com community functions, and there are other community organizations that most certainly have, you know, alcoholic beverages following a, you know, an, an affair. So that would go back to other. Pardon? He says bouncers are pretty tough. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. Yeah, there, there, there's, no, there's no messing around there. And, and there was very, very little, you know, the consumption. You know, I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't do it. It was, it was so low, but, you know, whatever. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Anyone else? That's it. Going once, going twice. I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Got vote for Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Wyant? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. Roll call.
Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Wyant? Yes. Councilwoman Larkey? Yes. Yes.